Tuesday, August 27th, 2019. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while. You know, it's been a lot going on. It's end of summer, I'm working a lot. And on top of that, you have this. I'm sure you've heard of that. FBI is now considering conspiracy theories. A new terrorist threat or terrorist threat. And this TAP Act. And when you start putting all this together with 5G smart cities, you're getting social credit scores. They're going to monitor what you say online, and they can potentially, if you believe in conspiracy theories, deem you a dom domestic terrorist and throw you in a loony bin. All right, but anyways, this yesterday, let's check out uh, what happened over Kansas here. First, we'll take a watch at it, and then I'll explain it. And you can see this rolling down here, right? And you can see, and you see all these little dots around the radar. These are wind farms, okay? Working in conjunction with Mr. Billy Hayes. When I have questions, I usually uh, ask him. He was a guy, was an engineer uh, on HARP and built many similar devices. He was a military contractor. But anyways... So I guess you could consider him a whistleblower now. But he says, nope. I asked if that was cold front. And he said, nope, that was prior to the cold front. This is the collision of airborne. Let me pause that. This is the collision of airborne particulates in the atmosphere colliding with static pulses from the seven wind farms around Dodge City. The waves are not visible as clouds, but do show up as reflections due to radar and infrared. This is what I have been trying to get you to catch and understand. Congratulations. Okay. And then he called me earlier this morning. Sorry, Billy, but uh, I was in bed at 3 a.m. We'll let that lead. We'll take a look at the composite imagery real quick. From Right. And you'll see these little storms here blow up over Dodge City. And then this huge storm right over top of the Kansas Oklahoma border up into Missouri watch it blow up right here look at that all right we'll see and this is uh right you can see it you can see all these little dots around the radar these are wind farms and in this region they are all over the place this is Kansas Oklahoma North Texas, and these are an intricate part of this country's climate control system. Okay, uh, I've went through it before. What it all, what it all is part of this? You have your commercial air flights, your uh, uh, industrial and power plants pumping up water vapor. You have uh, these wind farms, which can transfer atmospheric energy. Here's uh, one called lightning discharges produced by wind turbines, okay? So every three rotations, uh, these blades discharge up into the atmosphere. Where does it say? All right here. The repeated discharges can occur tens of kilometers away from the electric active thunderstorm areas and may or may not pre precede a fully developed up upward lightning discharge from the turbine. Similar to rockets used for triggering lightning, the fast movement of the blade tip plays an important role on the initiation of the discharge. Okay, so these things are constantly, these huge fiberglass blades are constantly rolling through the air, charging the air, and then they pick up a Enough of a charge to discharge into the sky. Look, this one's got your chemtrails on the background there. So I can leave a link to this and you can get more into it. And see, I have all these folders. You won't be able to see it if I open it, but I have all kinds of stuff on these wind turbine farms uh, from notable scientists like David Keith and so on talking about using wind farms uh, for weather control. They can act as like a giant wind tunnel. They can create straight line winds. Uh, 
and all that. So, catch this one one more time. That's through the night, and then uh, Billy's saying that these are microbursts that initiate over these wind farms. We see all kinds of interference on this one in uh, Advanced Air Force Base in Oklahoma. Down here, we got like four radars located right in a small, uh, by Norman, Oklahoma. That's like your radar capital of the world. <laughs> uh, it's raining right now locally. What else did I want to look at? All oh, this uh, potential hurricane. Doreen, I believe it's called. People have been talking about it. It finally showed up on the GFS model. I wasn't getting too excited yet. But it's got it coming up. And right there. To me, it looks like Central Florida up into Jacksonville. Right there. Yeah, maybe Daytona. I used to live in Daytona for like a year. That is Sunday, September 1st. So. We'll keep an eye on this. I'll make some more videos. Like I said, I've just been, you know, I'm thinking about maybe just quitting social media altogether because I don't want to be. Ha Maryland's already got red flag laws. But yeah, I'm trying to get away from technology. I don't want 5G. I don't. I don't have a cell phone. I have an end one for e over a year now. So. There's that. But anyways, thank you, Billy Hayes. I should have looked at the watches and warnings. We'll take a look at that real quick before I end out. Maps, live, hurricane headquarters. So we got obviously there. Oh, no tornado outlook today. So. Basically, right here, Oklahoma, into Arkansas. Other than that, we'll check back in at a later date.